Whatever liberals seem to touch, they really seem to muck up. The way they do boycotts is asinine. I'm actually a big proponent of boycotts, but I don't believe half-assed or stupid boycotts are effective or something we should do. I boycott a number of things. I boycott mainstream media. I don't watch television. I don't listen to commercial radio. I boycott animal products. I'm a vegan. I don't wear leather. I don't eat animal products. I also boycott alcohol, tobacco, and other recreational drugs. So I'm definitely for boycotts, folks. But they need to be well thought out, they need to be consistent, and they need to be something that makes sense. A prime example of a stupid liberal boycott is one that was put on recently. I don't know if it's still going on, and I really don't care because it's so fucking stupid, is the boycott of Whole Foods Market. And it wasn't because that Whole Foods didn't have enough fair trade coffee or something like that. It was because the CEO of Whole Foods had the audacity to put a letter to the editor in that said he was against Obama's health care plan. Liberal thinking, we care about the poor. Oh, it's so terrible. The CEO is saying no. First of all, what about the other fucking grocery stores? Do their CEOs support national health care? Do, I don't remember going to the grocery store and have, hearing a rapper on the intercom saying, We support universal health care for everyone! I didn't hear that. I didn't hear a big rally. I didn't hear any of that. Whole Foods, of course, isn't perfect. Is the other grocery stores better? Whole Foods is trying. I personally like co-ops that are not corporations, but hey, you can't be perfect and pure and everything. I like Whole Foods Market, and I go there when I can. And actually, this boycott makes me pretty happy because I'm not going to see dumbass liberals there. I hate having to go in there and see dumbass liberals. Health food is awesome. It's great. I try to support them student government, and there are even conservatives that say organic food is good. Yeah, it's awesome. It's sad that liberals find it necessary of all the evils in the world to boycott an organization that is dedicated to bringing whole foods and organic foods into us. Furthermore, I am against health care. You hate the poor. You hate the poor. I don't have health care myself. And it was actually a long time before I got to the dentist. Fortunately, I earn a decent salary now, so I'm able to pay for that. I read a great article in Health Science Magazine of the National Health Association, which said, all these politicians are talking about health care, health care. They said, we don't need health care. We don't need health reform. We need health. The article said, we need to emphasize prevention and living a healthy lifestyle instead of this Western medical paradigm. The author of it was James Michael Lennon. He has a lot of good things to say. Even Stephen Covey, the motivational speaker who wrote The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, says we need to get away from this paradigm of medicine where we are not going for the roots of the problem. We're just going for quick fixes. Whole Foods is all about preventing stuff. Eat healthy. That's one part of the equation. 
Instead of liberals, let's give people pills. Pills. I avoid pills if all possible. I haven't took an aspirin forever. I'm not saying it's never justified, but it shouldn't be the first resort. The last resort. It should be. This recent boycott of Whole Foods is very similar to other liberal boycotts of the past. They're not consistent. If you're a vegan, every store you go into, you don't eat animal products. You don't buy leather things. It's not to say you're going to be 100% perfect, but you're pretty good. You can't avoid animal products completely, like Joanne Stepanek suggests in her columns. So I'm not saying you have to be 100% perfect. What I am saying is it has to at least be, what, 60, 70, 80%, 90% perfect? Liberals will find something wrong with one corporation. Home Depot uses wood from these great oaks. That was one boycott when I was in college. Who the fuck cares? Are they the only ones? But no, we have to boycott them. There was, they had a thing with Taco Bell, the liberals I knew in college, because they didn't pay the workers enough. Certainly that's a great idea. Workers deserve to be paid well. Migrant labor is tough work. They deserve the rights the rest of us have. Are they the only example of people doing that? Why single out Taco Bell? It's stupid. But that's the way the liberal mind works. Be consistent, liberals. Don't be stupid. But I guess you can't change the spots of a leopard. Liberals are going to be that way because that's who they are. If you want to say, I'm against all tomatoes that are picked improperly, or I'm against all CEOs who are against health care and I'm going to avoid all their products, hey, then that's on the right track. I'm not going to personally do that, but it's on the right track. But you can't get that from liberals because liberals don't think that way. They only possess 5% of the truth. Therefore, you can't expect too much from these fools. Anyone who views Michael Moore as their hero is fucked up. I'm going to put in a new boycott. I'm going to boycott stupid boycotts. Like this Whole Foods Market one. Thus, pretty much every liberal boycott, I'm going to boycott. I'm not going to boycott veganism because it's a good idea. And clearly it must not have came from liberals because it's not a good liberalism. Liberals don't have many good ideas. Boycott, stupid boycott.